While fractions are commonly used in construction and furniture building, it is generally more common to use decimal parts of an inch in manufacturing. An example of a decimal part of an inch would be to use 0.5 to represent one half inch and 0.25 to represent one quarter inch. Understanding how to convert one system to the other is a useful skill that will help you understand inch measurements a lot better. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to use decimals with a tape measure. If you've ever needed to convert fractional inches into decimals, or if you're working with a blueprint or set of plans that uses decimals instead of fractions, this video is for you. Let's look at how to use decimals on a tape measure that's graduated in sixteenths of an inch. If you aren't sure how to read the tape measure, you might go watch our video on how to read a tape measure. We won't be covering that in this video. On tape measures like this one, the inches are divided into fractions. Each of those fractions can be expressed as a decimal. Some of these you may already know. For instance, one half can be written as 0.5. Try entering it on a calculator. 1 divided by 2 gives 0.5 inches. You probably already know that 1 quarter is equal to 0.25. Practice solving some of these that you may already know with your calculator. That way you will know that you are doing it right. Now let's look a little closer. 1 16th of an inch is equal to 0 0.0625 inches. 1 divided by 16 equals 0 0.0625. 1 eighth of an inch equals 0.125 inches. 1 divided by 8 equals 0.125. 1 quarter of an inch is equal to 0.25 inches. 1 divided by 4 equals 0.25. You can do this with any fraction that is on the tape measure. If you know the fraction on the tape measure, you can just divide to get the decimal form. 3 16th, for example, is 0.1875. It is helpful to memorize some of the more common decimal equivalents on the tape measure. For example, here are the eighths of an inch. 1 eighth of an inch is 0.125. 2 eighths is 1 quarter inch, which of course is 0.25. 3 eighths is 0.375. 4 eighths is a half or 0.5. 5 eighths is 0.625, 6 eighths is the same as 3 quarters or 0.75, and 7 eighths is 0.875, 7 divided by 8 is 0.875. Now that we've covered converting fractions to decimals, let's switch gears and look at how to go from decimals to fractions. This method is almost as straightforward once you know one simple trick. The trick is to find the smallest division on the tape measure. On our tape, the smallest division is 1 16th of an inch. Now we will multiply our decimal by 16. That will tell us the number of sixteenths that is closest to the decimal. Here is an easy example. 0.5 times 16 is equal to 8. So the fraction would be 8 sixteenths. 8 sixteenths, of course, is a half inch. To convert 0.25 to the closest fraction on our tape, we will multiply 0.25 by 16. This gives us 4, so the fraction is 4 sixteenths. 4 sixteenths reduces to 1 quarter, or we could just count up 4 of the sixteenths on the tape. Unfortunately, we cannot represent all decimal values using sixteenths of an inch. Some decimals will fall in between marks on our tape measure. Stay with me now, because here is where things become a little trickier. What if we had a decimal such as 0.333 inches? Where would that be on our tape? If we use our trick and multiply our decimal by 16, we get 5.328. What do we do with that? The nearest fraction is 5 sixteenths. We get that from the 5. but the exact point on the tape measure would be a little bit past the 5 sixteenths mark. It would be about 32.8% of the way past the 16th mark to be more accurate. Generally, you only need to know if the measurement is closer to one mark or another. 
Here is another example to show you what I mean. Let's think about the decimal point 8 inches. Let's use our trick and multiply point 8 by 16. We get 12.8. So the decimal would fall past the 12 sixteenths mark and it would be 80% of the way to the 13 sixteenths mark. So it would be more accurate to round up to 13 sixteenths. Let's look at another one and I'll let you try some. If we had a decimal like 0.28 inches, we would multiply 0.28 by 16. The answer would be 4.48. This is very close to 4.5. So the measurement would be between 4 sixteenths, or 1 quarter, and 5 sixteenths. Now you can try some examples of both methods. First of all, what is the decimal equivalent of this fraction? Take a few minutes to figure it out. Pause the video and have a look. The fraction is 5 sixteenths. 5 divided by 16 is 0.3125. Let's do another to be sure you've got it. What is the decimal equivalent of this fraction? The fraction is 7 eighths. And 7 divided by 8 is 0.875. Remember that this is one of those that it is good to memorize if you use decimals a lot. Now let's try going in the other direction. What fraction is closest to 0.6 inches? Point 0.6 times 16 is equal to 9.6. That means the decimal falls past the 9 16 mark and is closer to the 10 16 mark. This would mean that the measurement was just less than 5 eighths. It is very close to the halfway point. Here is one last one to try to be sure you are getting these. A measurement is 0.2 inches long. What is the nearest fraction on our tape measure? We multiply 0.2 by 16 and we get 3.2. That is just past 3 sixteenths and it would fall here on the tape. Now, keep in mind that if your tape measure has more or fewer marks, you would use that number instead of 16. For example, this ruler only has eighths of an inch marked. If I wanted to find 0.2 on this ruler, I would multiply 0.2 by 8 and get 1.6. This would be between the 1 eighth and the next mark of 1 quarter. It would be here, near the middle but a little closer to the one quarter mark. The real key to understanding tape measures and rulers is to use them a lot. So be sure and get plenty of practice doing this.